little spicy. Spicy, yeah. It's going to have to do some magic. It's squishier than the usual Terizla we expect. So yeah. don't expect it to be super duper tanky, but it can set plays early on. Uh, I mean, later on. I'm not going to expect much from the Terizla. I'm just expect I'm going to allow myself to be wowed since it is Renegade. But I think a good chunk of this match will be off the back of our side linger. Probably, right? Especially if Edward's on the Phobius. Uh, try to buy as much attention as you can to make sure that Dominic can do his thing. Let's see if he picks up a Thunderbelt or not. Let's throw over to Ingan and Naisu to bring us into game one. And here we go. Game number one. Second series of the day here. A massive one. Massive crowd here in the FBL Arena. Welcome to they Mobile are Legends. And ready. Even against some of the best junglers in the league, he is one of them. And King Kong now, I would say, when people have been watching him through the regular season. Oh, hold on. Oh, good Whoa. catch right away. Kirk clickers Edward? in. Edward back to this game. Super Prince with the clicker in, but not going to catch Edward, though. Counter attack coming in from Aurora. They oh. might bring down Super Prince in the first blood. We'll go to you. Uh, Fnatic works on to get the turtle, but they're not even done. They're going to catch one more. Demon Kite is going to fall down. Do want to extend the lead by taking down Renegade. Renegade's for Rizla, though, too slow to escape. Wow. The attack coming in from King Kong. So they first play Will and Sue here as they also bring down Iwe. When you thought that was a good, a good clash, a great clash. Because that was so great. They punish Super Friends for missing, by the way, and aggressively flickering. They punish them. A King Kong actually stops the turtle for a little bit, re-engages, gets the turtle, and they get a couple kills. So FNOP goes up, turns a bunch in their favor. And it could have gone really bad if it was just a punish on Super Friends for flickering forward, but man. That's hopefully a preview of the series as a whole that we have unfolding in front of us. Here we go, jump in for Brusco. Here goes to the AOG Kelra. Look at the rocket coming in from Kelra, bursting down Renege. And that's a great pickoff once again from a very active Brusco. Now, so, so far, we've been seeing Gato Gacha in the play. I'm having a hard time with Doming, though. Getting someone down. More difficult. As a Rome turns up, for yeah. example, to pull off that value, that amount of value that, you know, Brusco, as long as his ultimate up. There's value there, so second turtles quickly going to the hands here of Ebna. Well, whoever gets the turtle will get huge value, but Fnatic Onyx, after getting the turtle, wants to go for more. Gonna bring down wow. Demon and Renegade, even Edward, despite the Infernal Pursuit, they will catch him. Kirk's gonna pick up a kill on to Edward. No trade once again for Aurora, and now a diversion play. They're gonna send out Kelra and Brusco. This is very quickly turning into a snowball fest right now for Ebna. Wow, even that. Just threat enough that Domeng actually flickers because look at another jump. Oh. They're depriving Demon Knight of his orange buff, but not just that, he's also going to take his own life. As King Kong once again gets a kill, oh. and now flexing onto Edward, a dominant start for the Sonics. They're feeling it an option, but when you continuously fall behind like this, we're talking about a massive deficit for Aurora. It's going to be tough to even fight if they even get that setup yeah. right here, because even Demon Knight falling behind. Okay, another catch from Kirk. Renegade is going to fall down. Swift Destruction is going to connect, but is the damage going to be enough though for Aurora? Now they're taking away once again Demon Kite's purple buff. Oh. They're going to catch Demon Kite! Wow. Fnatic Onyx is continuing the clash. Big damn. Big damn, big plays once again for the Sonics. And this game might not even reach the late game or the mid game because 7.5k gold lead in under seven minutes as they take down a turret in the middle lane. Man, the way they're playing this. Oh, oh you can already see the shots coming up from Kelra here, but. I don't know. The way Fnatic Onyx approaches game one, they're looking to end on the first Lord even. That really, that they're doing wrong at this point, and Rora just struggling. I mean, this is where we were talking about. You know, there was a lot of bans towards Renegade's hero pool. Oh, here's, here we go. Are they trying to make a play themselves? Oh, Renegade counters not going to penalty zone. But again, the damage going to be enough though. Kirk's going to the damage oh. the Primal Wrath. Bruce going to the AOG. They're going to bring down Edward. Oh. They're going to bring down Renegade. And now they have a diversion of their own. They want to go for more. Oh. Going to catch you. Next door, going to Steven Kite as King Kong brings him down. And only Domain remains. They still have their inhibitors and the Holy Shields with the recalls. The thunder, the lightning shines brighter than the northern lights of Aurora as they want to end this game as quickly as possible. Going to take down an inhibitor in the middle lane. I, I can't recall when I've seen a team play with this much aggression and have this kind of lead this early on. But Fnatic on the Philippines is definitely playing like a Sonic here because they're still pushing to the base. Look at the shots even coming out from King Kong with the Queller. So you're still 40 seconds away from this Lord here. And I don't know, they might be, you know, at this point, it seems like Aurora is just kind of, they want to make some desperate moves to try to turn the tide. Yeah, it, it, eventually Aurora is going to lose if Fnatic Onyx plays as disciplined as possible and gets the, the future Lords. So I do agree with what you're saying. They're just going to throw a Hail Mary, try and salvage a play, try to make the most out of the situation. Because honestly, eight minutes, even before nine minutes, Naisu, look at the gold lead. It's 12.9k for the Massive. Sonics. Kill scoreboard 15 to 1. I, you know, this is scary because I'm pretty sure Fnatic's hungrier this time. 
If we can recall, their last regular season series was a loss onto Omega. They want to prove the, the haters wrong, the doubters wrong. We have Divergence Whoa. coming in from Aurora. Who are they going to catch, though? Again, is the damage going to be enough? Even Kelra trying to bring that Whoa. bombing. He will. Three members are down for Aurora. In exchange for Kelra's life, Brookie goes in with the AOG. And then Divergence play for Super that's Prince. It. They're going for the minions into the middle lane. And that's it. Game one is as fast. This is actually the fastest game this season. Nine minutes and 33 seconds for the Sonic. I did not think I would see a game end like this, this fast in the playoffs. And people question f not going into the playoffs after what they did in the regular season. And look at that. My goodness, what a game. What a statement for game number one here in this best of five. Leo, Rockheart, what do you guys have to say about this one?